The world is a complex place, and the influence of the media in its representation and its power of communication and interpretation is a remarkable amplifier of emotions and of illusions. Clarity and consistency are not enough, the quest for truth requires humility and effort. Fasting is, first and foremost, an exercise for identifying and managing adversity in all its forms. With faith, in full conscience, fasting calls women and men to an extra degree of self-awareness. Malaysia is a country unlike any other, full of promise and fragility. Its history, cultural and religious diversity make it a rich, compelling and surprising land. Advertising, music, atmospheres, subliminal messages and films can have an impact on our emotional life, and we cannot control it because we are not even conscious of it. The rich stick together, the poor and the marginalized are thrown together. Instead of looking outside of ourselves and counting potential enemies, fasting summons us to turn our glance inward, and to take the measure of our greatest challenge, the self, the ego, in our own eyes and as others see us. Our emotions are often beautiful, but they can also be dangerous. They represent our spontaneity, and seem to speak to us of our freedom. Cultures are never merely intellectual constructs. They take form through the collective intelligence and memory, through a commonly held psychology and emotions, through spiritual and artistic communion. The philosophy of fasting calls upon us to know ourselves, to master ourselves, and to discipline ourselves the better to free ourselves. To fast is to identify our dependencies, and free ourselves from them. Visit our website for more quotes. Quoting.com